Hi guys and welcome to the next video. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about our future and that's going to be the future of the industrial robot programming. Why I'm bringing up, up this topic? Uh, because with the latest event that happened last year, there, ha there has been a huge impact in our industry that changed a lot. And I know that some of you are already experienced programmers, some of you are just starting. So I wanted to give you a heads up of what might come. And that's going to be just my opinion. Uh, I'm going to show you some reports. I'll link everything down in the description so you can look it up yourself uh, and get some thoughts about it. Uh, I'm going to summarize it in this video so we know a little bit uh, more. Ready? Let's get started. Five, seven, one, two, three. All right, so as you can see, uh, what happened uh, previous year had a huge impact on our industry. I know that some of you work in automotive, others work in other indus industries, and each of them got affected separately. But uh, what happened is right now, because of all of this, everybody wants to automate, which is good for us. The question for us is though, what does it mean and how to prepare for it? So as you can see from the report, the forecast for 2026 is that in 2021, the robots, the industrial robot uh, market was worth about $42 million and uh, is going to grow to 75 in 2026. So in the next five years, we're going to almost double the amount of the money that is going to be in the, invested into our market which is a great news for us because that means there is more jobs for us. But we got to know how to prepare for that change and what to do in order to also get some benefits of it and of course make a little bit more money. So as you know, uh, I work mostly in the automotive industry. However, always it's always worth considering changing the industry if needed. So according to the predictions uh, coming up from the report, the industry that's going to need the most of the automation is going to be probably food and beverage. Why is that? That's because we gotta eat and they want to automate as much as they can because uh, as you know the robots do, do not get the off days, they don't get sick, uh, they work 24 7 so everybody wants to automate. What are the examples of the automation over there? Probably the most common is going to be palletizing, uh, SCADA robots and the uh, like Delta robots for pig and plague applications. Uh, also in the meat industry, I know that they do a little bit of uh, meat uh, cutting uh, as well as, for example, in bakery, they automate taking out the bread or the donuts out of the oven and putting them onto the conveyor line. It all depends uh, what you look for. So as you can see, that is going to be one of the industries that is predicted as the one that will need the most of the automation. So if you're uh, just starting, maybe it's worth considering going into that field. Uh, another field is going to be definitely pharma pharmacy and everything connected with the uh, pharmaceutical products. Again, uh, different type of robots, different type of applications. Uh, we got to do a little bit more research on those. For example, a, a good uh, robot in that is industry is going to be the ABB, by ABB Yumi. Uh, because it's already working in that industry is a collaborative robot. And that's the thing about the collaborative robots. Uh, I'm not going to share my opinion right now about those, uh, but looks like they are going to be also a big player over there because the most of the automation has go are going to happen in the small and medium industry. That's because the big industries, they have a lot of money, they can invest into their big robots and they can make them work faster. However, the small industries not often can afford the robots. While with the cobots show up in the market, right now we are able to buy those robots and install at the low cost. Also the programming cost, according to the manufacturers, it's much lower than with the uh, regular robots because they are a little bit easier to program. So the cobot market is the next thing. Uh, however, keep in mind that our industry right now is changing very dynamically. That's meaning there is a lot of new applications coming out, there is a lot of new things coming out, and you gotta keep on track uh, if you don't wanna 
lose anything. Uh, why I said uh, it's a five years uh, prediction? Because that's the information for you. Uh, according to the studies, uh, it takes usually around 10,000 hours to become an expert in something. So if you're just starting and you're assuming you're going to work more or less regular hours, you need more or less five years in order to become an expert in something. So you want to choose the right application and the right robot type for you. Uh, so what else I wanted to say? Uh, what are the markets that are going to be the biggest one that you want to work on? So of course, everybody lives in a different places, uh, but so those are just the statistics out of the report. So the most, uh, the biggest market is going to be in the North America, then uh, Asia and Pacific, then the Europe, and then the rest of the world. So depending on where you live, maybe you want to move, maybe not, maybe you want to find the projects in other place. Uh, those are the places that, that are going to need the most of the automation. Uh, what about the applications? Because as we know, robot programming is just not programming. So uh, I remember when I was still like doing the studies and working as a robot programmer, but back, uh, back then a friend of mine told me, well, that's very boring what you do, like you just touch up the points and like, just, like, there is nothing going on over there. And I said, well, if you think that, that's fine, like try it out and tell me. And guess what? Uh, after like two years, after, or I think three years after I started, he started doing the same thing and he said, well, that's much more than just touching up the point. Because it is, guys. The robot programming uh, is much more than just touching up the points uh, or doing uh, some small changes to the logic. Uh, it's connected with all of the applications that we do, like material handling, spot welding, MIG welding, laser brazing, vision systems. All of this is a robotic application because it is mounted to the robot or it has to work with the robot. So that's the information for you. The more applications you know, uh, the, biggest, the bigger opportunities in the market you have. Uh, for example, in the food market, if you're interested in it, definitely uh, handling and the vision systems are something that's wanted over there. Uh, as they are very often used. Uh, also, palletizing robots that are end, at the end of the line, that's something you want to do if you want to go into that market. Of course, those are just a few examples. If you're more into the automotive industry, definitely material handling and spot welding would be the applications that you want to start with. Uh, also, if you ask me like, okay, so I want to be an expert in this kind of application, which one is the paid most? Guys, it depends. Again, uh, if you're going to be in the food in the industry, if you know the vision, definitely uh, that's better for you. If you're going to be in the automotive industry, if you know, for example, the real specialistic applications, like let's say MIG welding, MIG mag welding, laser brazing, those are the applications that are really uh, hard to program from the uh, application side. Because pick and place applications and spot welding will pretty much take everything. So however you're going to program the robot, it is going to make the spot or it's going to pick and place. But when it comes to the more precise, more precise applications, that's where our knowledge comes in. That's where they want the experts to work. So again, uh, you have your time, you have your 10,000 hours to work on something. So pick your application wisely. Uh, if you wanna know more about the application, guys, let me know. Uh, I can make more videos about the applications. Don't forget to check out the spot welding application that I did quite time earlier, so it will shine some light on how to program it and how does it work. And that definitely help you when you start programming. Uh, what else? So uh, as you know, uh, I've been doing the videos for quite a while and YouTube now en uh, enables me to turn on an option of the uh, membership. So if you guys want to support my channel, if you want to support my work and help me out a little bit so I can make more videos uh, and upgrade some things, that would be great. Uh, you can click the join button down below and you can subscribe, you can become a member to the channel and that's going to help me a lot. There are of course some perks that comes with it. You can read everything down in the description. Uh, about the changes also coming guys, uh, please from time to time, just take your time uh, while, uh, while you are having a break or like a little bit time at home or when you, when you travel to read about our industry. It really gives you a lot of great ideas and there is a lot of knowledge to obtain from somewhere and to become a better programmer. Uh, so guys, that will be all for today. 
Uh, leave your comments down below. Tell me what do you think. Uh, if you want more videos like this, if you want to talk more about how to become a robot programmer, if you want to know more where to look for information, how to start or how to become an expert in an application, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you. And guys, like always, see you in the next video. Bye bye.